And welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. The specialist subjects tonight include the 15th century prince who became an explorer, the post-war highs and lows of a football team, the modern author described as one of the most underrated writers of the 20th century, and the country that's declared independence from Britain illegally. Two minutes of questions on those subjects and an extra 30 seconds, of course, on general knowledge, all under the unblinking stare of the spotlight. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Paul Muddle. Your occupation? Gardener. And your chosen subject? History of Zimbabwe, 1890 to 1990. Zimbabwe, the country that finally gained independence from Britain. Here we go, two minutes about it. Which London mansion was the venue for the 1979 talks that enabled the creation and recognition of the Republic of Zimbabwe the following year and Robert Mugabe's election as Prime Minister? Lancaster House. Yep, Southern Rhodesia became a self-governing British colony in 1923. What was the full name of the company established by Cecil Rhodes that had full powers to rule Rhodesia before then? The British South Africa Company. Yep, what name was given to the settlement where the British flag was raised on the 13th of September 1890 by members of the Pioneer column led by Rhodes after they had invaded Moshonoland. Fort Salisbury. Yes. What was announced by the Prime Minister Ian Smith in November 1965 to maintain white rule in Rhodesia? Unilateral Declaration of Independence. Yes. Who led the National Democratic Party until it was banned in 1961? Joshua Nkomo. No, Michael Mawema. What is the name of the political party formed as a result of the 1987 unity agreement that ended the violent conflict between the two main nationalist parties? Zanu PF. Yes. Which judge and life peer was sent to Rhodesia in 1972 to test proposals for political reform, including steps towards majority rule? Lord Pearce. Yes. In 1963, who led the Zapu party when his deputy, Nadabagningi Setoli, left to form Zanu, supported by Mugabe? Joshua Nkoma. Yes. At which gold mine near Salisbury were troops deployed in 1927 to deal with a strike by over 3,000 African workers who demanded higher wages? Shamva. Yes. What was the name of the black bishop who joined Smith, Sitoli and Chief Chirao in a coalition government in the 1978 internal settlement? Abel Muzurewa. Yes. Which liberation movement ran refugee camps in Tet province in Mozambique that were seen as terrorist training camps and attacked by Rhodesian Salu scouts in the 1970s? Zanla. Yep. Which 1930 law divided most of the land along racial lines into European areas, native reserves, native purchase areas and forest areas? The Land Apportionment Act. Yes. What hydroelectric scheme on the Zambezi River planned in the 1950s marked a clear improvement in Rhodesia's infrastructure? Kariba. The Kariba Dam is correct. No passes, Paul. You have 12 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Ben Fasham. Your occupation? Publishing sales manager. And your chosen subject? Prince Henry the Navigator. Prince Henry, the 15th century Portuguese prince who helped discover a world outside Europe. Two minutes starting now. Henry was heavily involved in the expedition to capture a Moorish trading post and pirate base on the North African coast in August 1415. What was the place called? Ceuta. Yep. Which legendary African Christian ruler did Henry believe he could contact and make an alliance with against the Muslims? Presta John. Yes. Who was the government of Tangier when Henry launched an ill-fated attack on the city in 1437? He'd also been the governor of Ceuta when Henry attacked there in 1415. Salah Ben Salah. Yep. What light, shallow-drafted, latine rigged ships was Henry instrumental in promoting? They proved ideal for voyages of discovery. Caravel. Yes. To what dukedom in the Algarve was Henry raised by his father, King John, in 1415, in addition to being made Lord of Covilha? It was the first created in Portugal. Viseu. Yes. In 1434, Henry's commander, Gila Anush, managed to navigate a cape on the Saharan coast that had previously been regarded as the Cape of No Return. What was it called? Cape Bojador. Yes. Which of Henry's captains discovered what they believed to be the legendary Rio de Oro in 1436? Baldaya. Yes. Which of his brothers was taken as a hostage in exchange for the safe evacuation of Henry's army when their attack on the Moorish city of Changia failed in 1437? 
Fernando. Correct. The chief known as the Niumi Mansa, who had previously been hostile to the Portuguese, eventually befriended an explorer during his expedition down the Gambia River. Which explorer? Diego Gomes. Yes. What port in the Algarve was the starting point for many of the voyages of discovery and was also the site of the first recorded slave auction in August 1444? Lagos. Yes. In 1458, at the age of 64, Henry took part in an expedition led by King Alfonso V to capture which North African port? Alcacer. Yes. Which of Prince Henry's captains discovered Cape Branco but was later killed by natives near the mouth of the Gambia River? Nuno Tristan. Yes. Which pope issued the bull Romanus Pontifex in 1454 that granted Henry and the ruler of Portugal the monopoly of all exploration as far east as India? Eugenius IV. No, Nicholas V. Everything right up until the last question. It happens. Anyway, Ben, no passes and you have 12 points. Thank you. And our third contender now, please. Your name is? Neil Chapman. Your occupation? IT consultant. And your chosen subject? Sunderland Football Club, 1945 to the current day. The club that won the FA Cup a very long time ago. Oh, I've won it twice. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Two minutes on the club. Starting now. In 2000, the club formally adopted what nickname after a public vote? Black Hat. Yes. What was the name of the Sunderland goalkeeper who made a famous double save from Trevor Cherry and Peter Lorimer in the 73 FA Cup final victory over Leeds United? Jim Montgomery. Yep. What was the name of the Carlisle United player-manager who reportedly negotiated his own transfer to Sunderland for £18,000 in 1949? Pass. Which team beat Sunderland in the 85 League Cup final? Both clubs were relegated from the first division that season. Norwich City. Yep. Who joined Sunderland from Huddersfield Town in 1946 and later played internationally for England at cricket as well as football? Willie Watson. Yeah. At the end of the 2017-18 season, Ellis Short sold his controlling interest in the club to a group led by the chairman of the non-league club, Eastleigh. What's his name? Stuart Donald. Yep. Yeah. In the first round of the 1973-74 Cup Winners' Cup, Sunderland beat Vashash Budapest, but then lost 3-2 on aggregate to which team? Uh, Sporting Lisbon. Yes. What is the name of the Irish-born central defender who was voted the club's player of the century? He signed from Millwall in 1957, played 400 games in his 12 seasons at Sunderland. Charlie Hurley. Yes. Who became the club's first substitute in league football when he replaced Mick Hallowell during a game at Villa Park in September 1965? Pass. In 1985, which well-known manager took over at Sunderland and promised to take the club out of the second division? By the time he left, less than two years later, they were facing relegation to the third division. Laurie McMenemy. Yep. The club's first match at the Stadium of Light when it opened in July 1997 was a friendly against a European team. Which team? Ajax. Yep. Who scored a hat-trick in the 4-1 win against Newcastle United at St James's Park in the 78-79 season? It was Sunderland's biggest away derby victory for 70 years. Gary Rowell. Yep. Which Sunderland player's autobiography entitled Clown Prince of Soccer includes a blank page headed The Average Director's Knowledge of Football? Len Shackleton. Yes. Kevin Phillips scored a post-war record 35 goals in all competitions in the 97-98 season after he joined from which club? Watford. Yep. And that's your time up. You had two passes. The chap who became the club's first substitute in league football when he replaced Mick Hallowell was Alan Gordon. Yes, I did yep. that. And the name of the Carlisle player manager who negotiated that enormous transfer fee for those days, Ivor Broads. Yes. <laughs> However, Neil, 12 points. <laughs> and our final contender, please. Your name is? Sue Duffy. Your occupation? Retired librarian. And your chosen subject? It's the life and work of the novelist Elizabeth Taylor. Who was once described as one of the most overlooked writers of her generation. Two minutes on her, starting now. Which of Elizabeth Taylor's 12 novels were shortlisted for the 71 Man Booker Prize? Mrs Palfrey at the Claremont. Yes. Taylor's first novel to be published appeared in 1945. What's it called? 
at Mrs Lippincott's. Yep. Who was Taylor's British literary agent at the A.M. Heath Agency from 1945 through to the end of her career in 1975? Uh, Patience Ross. Yes, the title character of Taylor's seventh novel is a novelist whose first book, The Lady Arania, was written when she was 15 years old and who has delusions that she's a great writer. What's her name? Angelica Deverell. Yes, which disturbing short story by Taylor is about a bus journey made by young Sylvia Wilkinson and her probable abduction? The fly paper. Yeah, in Mrs Palfrey at the Claremont, Mrs Palfrey stumbles and falls on the pavement. What's the name of the young writer who takes her into his flat and tends to her injuries? Uh, Ludo Myers. Yes. In the novel In a Summer Season, the recently widowed Kate has married a man ten years her junior and it is taken for granted in the village that he's only after her money. What's his name? Uh, Dermot Heron. Yes. For over 20 years, Taylor corresponded with the novelist and literary critic who eventually wrote Elizabeth and Ivy, a memoir of their joint friendship with the novelist Ivy Compton Burnett. Who was he? Uh, Robert Liddell. Yes. In The Sleeping Beauty, Vincent Tumulty commits bigamy. What is the occupation of his first wife, Rita, whose existence he tries to hide from everyone else? Um, she's a dancing teacher. Yes. What is the title of Taylor's only children's book, which tells the story of a mischievous eight-year-old boy who has recently moved to the countryside? Uh, Mossy Trotter. Yep. Which political party did Taylor join in 1936 and remain a member of for 12 years? Her membership of the party was one reason she didn't visit America until 1970. Uh, the Communist Party. Yeah. Towards the end of the novel, Palladium, the young girl, Sophie, is crushed to death when an object falls on her. What object? A uh, statue. Yeah. In A View of the Harbour, what tourist attraction is run by Lily Wilson, who charges threatens a visit? Uh, waxwork. Yes. In a game of hide-and-seek, when Harriet sees Charles, the man she will marry, for the first time she thinks him so old as to be outside the range of her interest. An elderly man of about how many years? 35? Yes, 35 <laughs> precisely. You've got that right and you've got everything else right as well. Sue, 14 points. <laughs> now it is time to invite all our contenders back into the studio together. So it's the general knowledge line now. Uh, two and a half minutes of questions this time, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the person with the fewer passes will be the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. So remember, the contenders at this stage don't know what each other has scored. They were out of the studio at the time. So for everyone at home, let's have a look at all the scores. And as always, we start this round with the contender with the lower score, and that is 12 points. Paul. And here we go, two and a half minutes of general knowledge. Jaffa, now part of the Israeli city of Tel Aviv, Yafo, gives its name to a variety of what fruit? Orange. Yep. What common name for the intermediate larval stage between frog spawn and frogs comes from the Middle English for toad head? Tadpole. Yep. Which Argentinian former footballer unveiled a statue of himself in Kolkata in December 2017 that some commentators said looked more like someone's gran? <sighs> Pass. What two-word phrase of Latin origin means with the order reversed or the other way around? Vice versa. Yeah. The cocktail dark and stormy consists principally of a mixture of ginger beer and what spirit? Rum. Yep. Whose play, Shirley Valentine, was made into a film starring Pauline Collins in the title role? Pass. What is the name of the Greek goddess who was the personification of the earth? Uh, Medusa. Gaia. Of what island and overseas French department in the Eastern Caribbean is Fort de France the administrative capital? Martinique. Yes. Which golfer has won a record 18 major titles? The first was the US Open in 1962, the last, the Masters in 1986. Arnold Palmer. Jack Nicklaus. What is the forename of Fidel Castro's younger brother who was formally elected president of Cuba in February 2008? Rail. Yep. Who was the only female driver to compete in the 1960s animated television series of Wacky Races? Her car, number five, was called the Compact Pussycat. Penelope Pitstop. Yeah. In simple science, matter can exist in one of three states. Solid, liquid and what other? Gas. Yep. Which actor, singer and comedian was nominated for a Best Actress Oscar for her first major film role as a drug-ravaged rock singer in the 1979 film The Rose? Pass. What remote moorland farmhouse is the home of the Earnshaw family in Emily Bronte's novel of 1847? 
Wuthering Heights. Yes. In 1803, which German composer's violin sonata in A major, Opus 47, was dedicated to the French-born violinist Rodolphe Kreutzer? Beethoven. Yes. Which city in northwest England on the border with Wales is signposted Caer, meaning camp or stronghold, on Welsh language road signs? Chester. Yes. Who reached number one in the UK singles charts in February 1966 with These Boots Are Made For Walking? Uh, Nancy Sinatra. Yes. Which famous British warship was launched at Chatham in 1765 and first saw action against the French at the First Battle of Bouchant in July 1778? HMS Victory. Yeah, HMS Victory is correct. You had three passes. Paul Beth Midler was the uh, actor who was nominated for the Best Actress Oscar in The Rose. Uh, Willie Russell. That was the writer of Shirley Valentine, as you know, and the Argentine football player, former football player, whose statue looked like someone's grandma's, Diego Maradona. Paul, you have a total now of 25 points. Thanks very much. <laughs> and also starting this round with 12 points, Ben. And now, Ben, 25 is the score to beat. Here we go, two and a half minutes of general knowledge. What name, meaning a thing to wear, is given to the wide-sleeved robe that is the traditional dress of Japan? Kimono. Yep. In November 1991, which band single, The Fly, reached number one and ended Brian Adams' 16-week run at the top of the charts? You too. Yep. What word for a person of unorthodox views comes from an American term for an unbranded calf and ultimately from the name of a Texas rancher who had a large herd of them? Cowboy? Maverick. The cast of a 2018 film based on a video game includes Christian Scott Thomas and Derek Jacobi. Which film? Pass. What word imported into early Christian liturgy that means save we beseech you is used in the story of the crowds who welcomed Jesus into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday? Salve. Hosanna. How is Meghan Markle described in the subtitle of Andrew Morton's 2018 biography of her? Uh, the... American princess. Hollywood princess. In what seven-a-side game, mostly played by women, are the two attackers on each side the only players allowed to score? Netball. Yep. Bajan is a local name for an inhabitant of which Caribbean island? It's also the name of the form of English that's spoken there. Barbados. Yes. In which southern European country is the district of Magnesia, where deposits of the ore that produced the chemical element magnesium were first found? Greece. Yes. What word that comes from the Latin for to stuff is used to describe a light-hearted comedy play with an improbable plot? Farce. Yes. What is the title of the supernatural drama television series written by Chris Muska and first shown in February 2018? It's set and filmed in Wales. Dr Feelgood. Requiem. Which area in the western part of Gloucestershire was designated Britain's first national forest park in 1938? Forest of Dean. Yes. In 1986, a disease of cattle known as BSE, or bovine spongiform encephalopathy, was first identified in Britain. It's most commonly known by what nickname? Mad cow disease. Yes. What does HT stand for in the initials of the trade union and professional organisation NAHT? Head teachers. Yes. Whom did Hitler put in command of the Africa Corps in February 1941 when he decided to send it to the rescue of the Italian army in Libya? Erwin Rommel. Yes. What musical instruction to play in a brisk and lively manner was also the name of a car once voted the worst ever made in Britain? Adagio. Allegro. What imperial unit of length is equal to 1,760 yards? A mile. Yes. What is the name of the cylindrical, rich fruited yeast cake from Milan traditionally eaten at Christmas? Solstice cake. It was panettone. Yeah. One pass. That 2018 film based on a video game was Tomb Raider. Yeah. A total then of 23 points. And yet another person with 12 points from the first round, Neil. And the score to beat now is still 25. So, here we go, two and a half minutes, general knowledge. William Wordsworth saw a host of golden flowers when he wandered lonely as a cloud. Which flowers? Daffodils. Yep. What parts of a deer are covered by a substance that is called velvet while they're growing? Antlers. Yep. Which American city has staged an annual 500-mile car race since 1911? Indianapolis. Yes. What name is given in Islam to the Prophet Muhammad's flight from Mecca to Medina in AD 622 to escape persecution? 
Pass. The absent-minded scientist Professor Cuthbert Calculus is a character who appears in the adventures of which young Belgian reporter? Tintin. Yep. Which Mexican painter who lived from 1907 to 1954 was noted for her brilliantly coloured self-portraits inspired by native popular art? Frida Kahlo. Yep. What term is used in sailing for steering a zigzag course with the boat either left or right of the wind direction to make progress upwind? Tacking. Yep. The ground dried roots of a member of the Astor family were used as a coffee substitute by the French during the Napoleonic Wars. What plant is it? Pass. What town on Mounts Bay, Cornwall is the terminus of the railway line from Paddington and the main ferry port for the Scilly Isles? Pass. Who duetted with Kenny Rogers on the 1983 top ten single Islands in the Stream? Dolly Parton. Yep. What term of French origin is given to a person infiltrated into an organisation to incite them to commit an incriminating act? <sighs> Amour. Agent Provocateur, what is the title of the Buster Keaton silent film about a Confederate train driver who battles to get his train back after it's stolen by Union soldiers? Pass. Who became a star after she played Alison McKenzie in the 1960s television soap opera Peyton Place? Barbara um, Pass. No, Mia Farrow. Dreams from My Father, A Story of Race and Inheritance is a memoir first published in 1995 by which future American president? Barack Obama. Yes. What general name is given to any greasy, typically flammable substance that is liquid at room temperature and cannot be dissolved in water? Pass. The Israeli-born violinist Itzhak Perlman played the solo passages in John Williams' Oscar-winning score for which Steven Spielberg film? The Deer Hunter. Schindler's List. The Druids held most trees sacred, but they particularly revered the oak along with the parasitic plant that grows on it. What is that plant called? Ivy. Mistletoe. What is the name of the cruel one-eyed headmaster of Do the Boys Hall in Charles Dickens' Nicholas Nickleby? Macorber. Wackford Squeers. What is the colour of the Tupney stamp issued two days after the penny black in May 1840? Blue. Blue it is. And you had five passes. Oil is that uh, greasy substance? <laughs> I know oh. it doesn't dissolve in water, obviously. The General was the name of the Buster Keaton silent film. Penzance is the terminus of the railway line from Paddington. Yeah. Chicory is the ground dried roots that yeah. make coffee with, if you wish. And the Hijra or the Hijra is the name given to the Prophet Muhammad's flight. You have, Neil, a total of 21 points. <laughs> And finally, and she starts around with 14 points. Sue, please. However, 25 is still the score that is proving very difficult to beat. So let's see if you can do it with your base of 14 points. Here we go. By what name is Pancake Day, the day before Ash Wednesday, known in the English Christian calendar? Uh, Shrove Tuesday. Yes. Which artist created the 17-foot-tall marble statue of David, completed in 1504, that was originally placed in front of the Palazzo Vecchio in Florence, where a copy now stands? Michelangelo. Yes. The Senera and the Estelada are respectively the official flag and the separatist flag of a region of Spain. What region? Catalonia. Yes. In Norse mythology, what members of the crow family are the birds Hugin and Munin, the messengers of the god Odin? Ravens. Yes, the name of which large marine animal is used for a bushy, droopy moustache that supposedly resembles the animal's whiskers? Walrus. Yes. What fruit used both in salads and in cooked dishes has a name of Aztec origin? It was introduced into Europe by the Spanish in the 16th century. Pass. The first practical and commercially successful version of a household appliance was developed by the American inventor Isaac M. Singer in the 1850s. What appliance? A vacuum cleaner. Sewing machine. Which is the only Australian state capital not named after a person? Perth? Yes. Which former Manchester United player said, in 1969 I gave up women and alcohol. It was the worst 20 minutes of my life. George Best? Yes. The name of what form of aerial transport comes from the Greek for spiral and wing? Gyroscope? Helicopter. The last episode of which television comedy series was a 2003 Christmas special entitled Sleepless in Peckham? Um, only Fools and Horses. Yes, at which South Devon resort was the sea wall and the main exit at a Plymouth railway line destroyed by high tides and stormy seas in February 2014? Um, St Ives. Dawlish. What are the last four words of Henry Newbold's poem Vitae Lampada? They complete the line, play up, play up. 
and play the game. Yes, which British actress won the second of the two Best Actress Oscars for her performance as the fashion designer Vicky Alessio in the romantic comedy A Touch of Class? Uh, Glenda Jackson. Yes, who first topped the UK singles chart as a solo artist with Careless Whisper in 1984? George Michael. Yes, what is the name of the dome-shaped muscular structure that separates the chest cavity from the abdominal cavity? Um, oh, pass. What was the name of the physician and revolutionary who was murdered in his bath in July 1793 by Charlotte Corday, a member of the more conservative Girondin faction? Mara. Yes, what type of puzzles are set or solved by a cruci verbalist? Uh, crosswords. Crossword is correct. Two passes. It's the diaphragm that, oh. as you absolutely knew, didn't you, that separates yeah. the uh, chest cavity from the abdominal cavity. And tomato was the fruit that... Oh. Um, well, Aztec origin, how about that? So, you did it. 27 points and you're tonight's winner. Let's remind ourselves of all the scores and a cracking contest there. In fourth place, 21 points, Neil. Third place, 23 points, Ben. Second place, 25 points, Paul. First place, she stormed through with 27 points, Sue. And she, of course, goes through to the semi-finals. <laughs> Congratulations to uh, Paul, but with his score... It's just possible that we will see him again in the semi-finals. And if you would like to be a contender yourself in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk, stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.